Welcome back to this introductory video series on BioRad's BR.io cloud platform for laboratory instruments. In this video, we will walk you through how to review and export run data from a CFX Opus real-time PCR system using the BR.io cloud platform. This is a continuation of the last video where we learned how to set up and perform a run on the CFX Opus system. Now that the run is completed, let's review and export the data that were collected. First, we will go to the Files page, find the run, then click on the file name to open it. Upon opening the run, you'll see that you're on a new step in the Workflow Navigator, the Analysis step. This step is only present once the run has completed. Now let's take a look at the Analysis page. There's a toolbar at the top of the page below the header. The toolbar is where we can access the Analysis Setup panel to adjust the analysis settings, such as threshold values. We can also access filters to hide or omit targets or fluorophores from analysis, export the amplification data to CSV format, and select which amplification step to analyze. This last item is not something that you'll need to use for typical real-time PCR experiments, as it is only needed when a run contains multiple amplification steps. Below the toolbar is the amplification chart, which displays traces of the fluorescent data collected during the run. The RFU data are displayed using a linear scale by default, but you can click the log button to use logarithmic scaling instead. The data are also color-coded according to the color assignments found on the plate setup page. Thresholds for determining CQ values are automatically determined and applied on a per fluorophore basis. Thresholds can alternatively be calculated on a per target basis by clicking the target toggle in the corner of the amplification chart. If you need to set thresholds to specific values, you can do that in the analysis setup panel. Clicking Set Custom Thresholds will open the Threshold Settings. Here you can see the auto-calculated thresholds. To set a threshold to a specific value, enter the value into the Input field under User Defined Threshold on the right. Once these values are set, click Apply to update the amplification data with the new thresholds applied. Click on the Analysis Setup Toolbar button or anywhere outside of the panel to close it. Once the thresholds are set appropriately, we can use the Well Selector below the chart to help us review data from individual wells or groups of wells. All non-empty wells are visible on the amplification chart and data table by default. We can change the visibility of individual wells by clicking on them, by clicking and dragging, or by clicking the plate headers. It's important to note that only visible wells will be included in the exported data. Let's turn off the visibility of all wells on the plate by clicking the All button in the upper left corner of the well selector. Then we'll select the first set of replicate wells and review the data. As you're reviewing the data, you can hover your pointer over a well to inspect the contents. You can view the CQ values on the data table. And you can hover over traces on the amplification chart to view the RFU values at particular cycles. If you want to review data for a single target at a time, you can use the Filters menu to focus on specific targets. This may also be useful when reviewing data from multiplexed reactions. If you want to inspect the traces without baseline subtraction applied, you can turn baseline subtraction off in the Analysis Setup panel. CQ values won't be calculated when baseline subtraction is off. Once you have reviewed the data, you can export the data table by clicking the Export button on the toolbar. 
This will generate and download a CSV file of the data table. The exported data table will match the data table as it is currently shown, except that CQ values will not be rounded. Make sure that the filters are set appropriately in all wells that you want to export a visible before you export the data. If you wish to export the RFU data for the wells instead of CQ data, this can be done by clicking on the menu button at the top right of the amplification chart and selecting download CSV. From this menu, you can also download or print the image of the amplification chart for your lab notebook. This concludes our introductory video series on the BR.io Cloud platform. If you have any feedback on the software as you work, please use the contact support link in the help and feedback menu. Your feedback is always appreciated. Thank you for watching.